we know BGP cannot advertise a path from one IBGP to another. And this is because of loop prevention. So, the solution is a full mesh configuration. As you can see in the movie, all the routers must connect to all other routers in the same AS, but, this solution brings scalability issues. One of the workarounds in these kinds of a situation is root reflector. A root reflector is an IBGP speaker that reflects routes learned from IBGP peers to other IBGP peers. To accomplish you will configure a router as a root reflector in the AS and other routers in the area as root reflector client. Root reflector client is just an IBGP speaker and notice that there is no special configuration for them. Let us learn about another key concept in root reflector, this fundamental concept is cluster. A cluster is a root reflector plus its clients. We should also know that root reflector clusters may overlap. We can design root reflector in hierarchical model, but usually, we design root reflector not more than two levels. Technically you can have an unlimited number of levels, but more than two levels is very rare. The reflector topology should follow the physical topology to prevent loops and black holes. Edges of root reflector tiers are a natural place to reduce routing information being carried in the lower tiers. Root reflector, key points. A single router can be a reflector client and a root reflector at the same time. RR can lead to suboptimal routing because they can hide full path information from clients, ours can advertise a single best path. All of the root reflectors will need to be fully meshed. Reflectors still follow the normal rules of IBGP root propagation between themselves. A non-client is any root reflector IBGP peer that is not a root reflector client. A client may peer with more than one reflector in different cluster. Clients should peer to at least two reflectors to provide redundancy, but two is enough. Root reflector, advertisement rules. Rule number one. If a root reflector receives a root from an EBGP peer, it will send the root to all clients, and it will also send the root to all non-clients include other EBGP peers. Rule number two. If a root reflector receives a root from a client, it will reflect the root to all non-clients, it will reflect the root to all clients, unless no client-to-client -client reflection is configured, which is rarely deployed, and finally it will send the root to all EBGP peers. Rule number three. If a root reflector receives a root from a non-client, it will reflect the root to all clients, and it will send the root to all EBGP peers. This was the first part of the BGP root reflector lesson, the next part will contain configuration challenges. For more cool topics please visit my website, www.networkingwithessen.com.